we want to rationalize the denominator of the given fractions. To rationalize the denominator of a fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by a radical that will clear the radical from the denominator. So looking at our first example, we have 20 over the square root of 10, or 20 divided by the square root of 10. The first thing to recognize is that the denominator is irrational because the square root of 10 does not simplify perfectly. And also notice how the square root of 10 does not simplify at all because 10 does not contain any perfect square factors. 10 is equal to 2 times 5. And therefore, in order to clear the square root of 10 from the denominator, we need two factors of 10 under the square root, which means to rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 10. Multiplying in the numerator, notice how we have 20 times square root 10, which is 20 square root 10. Multiplying in the denominator, we have the square root of 10 times the square root of 10, which equals the square root of 10 times 10. Notice now we have a perfect square under the square root, and therefore this will simplify perfectly. So we have 20 square root 10 over the square root of 10 times 10 or the square root of 10 squared simplifies perfectly to one factor of 10. So now the denominator is rationalized, but notice how we can simplify further because the numerator and denominator share a common factor of 10. There's one 10 and 10 and two 10s and 20, and because the denominator is now one, this simplifies nicely to two square root 10. Two square root 10 does have a rational denominator because as a fraction, it would have a denominator of one. Looking at our second example, we have 35 over 3 square root 7, or 35 divided by 3 square root 7. Again, the first thing to recognize is that the denominator is irrational because the square root of 7 does not simplify perfectly. And therefore, to eliminate the square root of 7 from the denominator, we need to recognize that we'd have to have two factors of 7 under the square root, which means to rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 7. So multiplying in the numerator, we have 35 square root 7. Multiplying in the denominator, we now have 3 times the square root of 7 times 7. So because we have two equal factors under the square root, the square root will now simplify perfectly. We have 35 square root 7 over 3 times the square root of 7 times 7, or the square root of 7 squared, simplifies to one factor of 7. So the denominator is now just 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21, but notice how 35 and 7 share a common factor of 7. There's 1 7 and 7, and 5 7s and 35. So the simplified fraction is 5 square root 7 all over 3, or 5 square root 7 divided by 3. So it is important to remember that once we rationalize the denominator, we do want to make sure the fraction is written in simplest form. I hope you found this helpful.